sheep theme we had. Now there are plenty more ideas you can do, but this is a very simple one. It took up just a few minutes. And I plan to do a little bit more about sheep since my kids are really into the sheep stage for some reason. They have a little cuddle stuffed animal sheep and they sleep with it all the time. They want to play with it all the time. So I took the advantage to teach them about sheep. So I found a couple books that I had all about farm animals. So we read this together. This one. And here's another one. So as you can see, you can use any book you have about the farm. We you find your page about sheep. We read it together. We use our little play sheep as little puppets to act out what they do, what they eat, how they sleep. The babies feed from their mommies. And then we sing the song, what the sheep give us. The sheep give us wool. The sheep give us wool. I owe oh, Jerry O, oh, the sheep give us wool. The sheep give us milk. The sheep give us milk. I owe oh, Jerry O, oh, the sheep give us milk. You can make any little tune you want. That's the one we used. And then, for a little toddler to come up with something to make very simple, we just have these little fluffy balls. Or you can use cotton balls if you don't have these. And I just took a little cardboard box, I cut it, and here she pegged, she put these pegs on the cardboard box to make our little sheep fold, or our sheep pen. We talked about how at night they all have to go back into their pen, and the sheep counts them one by one, so you practice your counting at the same time. You can talk about the sheep and their different colors, their different sizes. We gave them all little names, and then we put, we pretend to be the shepherd, and we put them all in their sheep pen at night. And there we have our little sheep pen. This is also good for um, pre-writing skills, sensory motor skills, um, pinching. And it was a very fun, simple, no planning activity. All you need are little pegs, and you use an old cardboard box, little fluffies, or cotton. You read your page together. Your book's all about sheep. And that makes up for a fun little sheep activity. Next we'll do some arts and crafts about sheep, so stay tuned for that.